Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to show you how to do nice and easy, uh, really cool switch statements using CoffeeScript. Um, and just like everything else, CoffeeScript makes switch statements even better. So switch statements in JavaScript are, you know, not the best. You have to make sure to have the break at the end of each case or else it's going to go through to your default case. And um, it's just really not... Uh, the, the, it's just really not ideal compared to the CoffeeScript solution, okay? So in a typical switch statement, uh, you'd be testing something uh, like a variable. Let's say colors, right? So let's say we want to do switch. And then uh, in JavaScript, you do, you know, your, uh, your argument that you're testing and then brackets uh, case blue and then, uh, I'm sorry. And then whatever you do for blue, okay, whatever you whatever you want to do, and then you have to do a break. And this needs to be tapped over, okay. So yeah, so you'd have to, you know, do something, right? Well, this is this is fine. I mean, this is how you've always done switch statements in JavaScript. But in CoffeeScript, it's really great. You can say switch, and then we're just going to say colors, and next line tabbed over, we're going to have win. So now you're going to be testing a sort of almost more like speaking, just like how the conditionals are with uh, CoffeeScript. You can say when the color is, say, blue, then, and you can do something, right? Let's say you want to alert blue, um, you can alert blue, okay? Also, you could say when green, then um, let's say name equals green. So I just changed my name to green when the color is green, okay? So I think you get the idea. It's just like a switch statement. Instead of having a case and then having what you do and then having to write a break, you're saying when something, when the color is one of these options, then do something. Uh, pretty straightforward, right? You could even test for multiples. You could say when black, comma, I'm sorry, comma, brown. So this is testing if it's black or brown. And then let's say you want to do something special. If it's black, you could just say if black, if, I'm sorry, if color, colors is equal to black, then alert uh, black. Okay. Um, and actually, I didn't notice I didn't have quotes around this blue. Okay. So um, let's also set name is equal to brown, black. Okay. So here it's saying if it's black or brown, um, you can test if it's black. If it's black, it's going to alert black. But either way, it's going to set this name is equal to brown slash black. So you can just have something extra in there. And then now, just like if statements, before you know you had your default statement, but the way that CoffeeScript treats switch statements is you have an else statement. So you're saying, you know, when blue, then alert, blue, whatever. When green, then do something. When black, then do something else. And then you can say alert no color. So this is a switch statement in CoffeeScript. Let's take a look at what it outputs in your JavaScript, and it should be exactly what you'd expect. And it looks like I actually have an error. I'm getting an error. It's also I have this colon in here. I don't know why that got in there. Let's save it. Okay, now we're good. Check it out. Uh, where is it? So this is your pretty standard switch statement. Switch color case blue alert blue break. Case green name equals green break. Case black or brown. If color is equal to black, alert black. Uh, either way, set name brown or black. Default is alert no colors. So that's exactly what you'd expect. That is how a normal switch statement is written. Okay, so this is nice and easy, uh, really good looking switch statements in CoffeeScript. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment on the video. Hit us up at Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking. And like I said a few tutorials ago, there's going to be a lot more tutorials coming very soon. This next month, um, all sorts of stuff is going to come out. As always, subscribe. If you want to see more, you know, just let us know what you're thinking, okay?
Once again, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and thanks for watching.